YZ Fighter. Yo, what is up, guys? <laughs> Welcome back to the channel. We are going to bring you the green cards of set 10. I'm here with... Mr. HLN. DK with kid trying to be a kid again. I bet. There we go. Son Goku. We got him up in center. I don't know. You ready to read some cards? Yeah, I'm good. I'm ready. I'm set. I bet. So, like, Son Goku is a green leader. How many green leaders we got, Son Goku? Uh, burst oh, three, God. when this card attacks, you draw one, and then another auto when one of your battle cards is KO'd, you get to flip this card over. If you do, draw one and switch one of your energies back to active. So it's like another way of awakening, but you don't get to draw two. So on the other side, it has another burst three when this card attacks, uh, draw one, active main and or battle. Uh, once per turn, place two cards from the uh, of your life into the drop choose all your opponent's battle cards and all your battle cards ignoring barrier and place them into the drop wow so you, that's a board wipe right there but you gotta lose two life for that you you take two life that's like mm. yeah that's like dire need you know what I'm saying like maybe it's like on your opponent's turn you could just create yourself two life and be like yo like end your turn now type of type of stuff yeah, like if they spam out like a million attacks. Yeah, I'm gonna say like if they got their big beater. Oh, I guess that goes good against the um, black deck. Yeah, if they spamming a lot of cards out, I'm gonna say because like if they go, if they have a lot of cards out, or they trying to hit you for game, with like a triple strike or something, with a big, yeah. a big SCR or something, you just get rid that, of it. That right there, get rid of the attack. Yeah. And that real quick, but you just taking that life. You got your boy Ginyu over here. Oh yeah, next next page, next page. I man, Ginyu is back. Hasn't seen him since set one. It's crazy. All right, uh, is this set one Ginyu? I think it's two. two, and then there's something that came in between later. All right. I don't know if we got uh, another leader, but no, nah, I think that's the last leader mm -hmm. for a green. Uh, auto is when this card attacks, reveal the top card of your deck. If it is a green Ginyu Force card with an energy cost of two, you may play it, then draw one card. That's not bad. It's spamming. Awakening is when you're at four or less, or you have four or more Ginyu Force cards in play. Well, in your battle area, yeah. draw two cards. It's uh, not bad. I like the early awakening stuff. Like, you don't have to wait for four lives. Right. So, isn't there, like, more Ginyu for us? So, you could spam out those red... Is it red girl Ginyu, or is it just green? Nah, this... The awakening, it doesn't uh, specify a color. So, mm -hmm. you can go red, green, or yellow. Yeah. So, that's... You can make the deck a little fun that way. But the auto ability only goes off if you have a green Ginyu for us. All right. Flip side. Um... When this card attacks, reveal the same thing. Uh, same auto as the front, but active battle once per turn. Use one green energy. Choose one green Ginyu Force card in battle. Well, in your battle area. And it gains 10,000 for the battle. Hmm. That's, that's not bad. Should see some cards that would utilize this. Yeah, well, we're going to get to the Ginyu Force. Oh, okay, you going to do the unison? Yeah, Super Saiyan Bardark, Paternal Unison. Uh, we got an auto when your opponent combos. You may place one card from the combo area into the drop. If you do, you negate this skill for the turn. Okay. It's like the... What is it? The Raditz card? The an Red Ani Green? Ala? Yeah, there's a couple cards like that. It's but not could, bad. This is just once per turn. Well, if it's your opponent, yeah. So it's once it's once per turn, basically. You could do it on your side or their turn. It get rid of a 10k combo. Yeah, just reduce them by one. Uh, so we got an active main of plus one. You may choose one green battle card with energy cost of one, KO it. If you do, your opponent uh, discards one card from their hand. Okay, so you got a little hand control there. And then uh, if you have three tokens, you can get rid of them and then what's it call it uh 
This card gets 5k power and triple attack for the turn. Hmm. hmm. Oh, you said tokens. I, I mean, messed up. Well, markers, 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 yeah. Yeah, I was like, tokens? Where do you see tokens? Markers. So it's minus three markers, and then this card gets 5k and triple attack. So it becomes a 20k beater, and then I think you can add some green card or uh, extra cards to give it, like, critical, right? Um, Probably strike, something like that. Double strike, critical. Like, what is that? Feet Kamehameha? If your leader's green? Uh, That's an extra I'm card. I got to We'll check yeah, it out later. Yeah, check that one out. We got your golden I, freeze. I actually like the hand destruction though. I mess with that. Yeah. Alright, so Golden Freezer, Unison of Malice. Uh how is this? two energy to bring this one out? Yep. Alright, plus one marker active main. Draw one card, then choose one card in your hand, place it on the top of your deck, and this card gains crit for the turn. I actually like that. That is not bad at all. Like, you're not losing the card, you're plusing. Well, not really plusing, but. You're putting a card back into the top of your deck. So yeah. that you, you know what you're drawing again if you. I, I fuck with that. Like, mm. that's, that's not a bad one. Let me stop cursing. Alright, uh, minus two markers, uh, active main. Until the end of your opponent's next turn, your opponent can't attack with battle cards unless they choose one of their battle cards with the energy cost of two or more and place it in the drop area. Wow. Like a little topo kind of thing, huh? Yeah. Just lock it down. Lock it down. I mean, that, that's a good idea for my man. Chilled. Chilled. <laughs> I, need, I need to get man, chilled. This, this, this unison card is a super rare. What? Oh, they Bardock and this one's super rare. Oh, oh, damn, that means we ain't getting none of these. <laughs> and the next one is an uncommon. So we got Demigra, Unison of Sorcery. Sorcery, sorry. Yeah, sorcery. <laughs> Permanent, cool, if this card would lose a marker from an opponent's attack, you may add one card from your life and add it to your hand instead. Okay, so you could kind of save it. Active main, plus one to uh, marker. When this, uh, let's see, this card gets 10k power for a turn. And if you have three markers... Or more. Take them out. Uh, let's see. Choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards. KO it. Then choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards. So if an entry costs three or less, ignoring barrier. And also KO it. Alright, so we at the first Goku battle card. Super Saiyan, Son Goku, Pride of the Saiyans. Five energy. You need five green energy to play this card. That's mm, maybe that's definitely something else. It definitely for a mono green. Uh, double strike. Permanent is this card can't be removed from battle areas by skills. That's not bad. Uh, auto is if there is a Sun Goku with energy cost of 4 under this card in rest mode. Oh, and this card is in rest mode. When your opponent plays a battle card with the energy cost of 5 or less, they choose 2 cards in their hand and discards them. Mm. Auto second auto is when this card is played choose all of your opponent's battle cards ignoring barrier and KO okay I can see why this is a little overpowered it's freaking, I don't know I guess I gotta see how this is gonna be played like how are you putting a a 4 drop or something underneath this card in rest mode or this card is in rest mode well I guess we gotta keep searching uh, here's a 4 drop right here oh there it is right there uh, intensive training Son Goku Got deflect and barrier, active main or battle and battle. Uh, if your leader card is a green Sun Goku and you send total of five green, <laughs> Go <laughs> Sun Gohan, Vegeta, Bulma, Krillin, and or Piccolo cards from your drop to your warp, choose up to one mono green Sun Goku for energy cost of five in your deck or hand. Play it on top of this card, then shuffle your deck if you look through it. You gotta send everybody that's, to the warp. <laughs> that's not bad, actually, because the leader <clears throat> has that burst three. Yeah, you're bursting those cards. That's true. I can see how this could be fun, but... Oh, yeah, that's a little... I mean, yeah. that's like that other card you have to have when you're trying to do all the, the Super Saiyan gods, I guess, with Videl. Videl. Or... Uh, 
I forgot it was a red card from the set seven or eight where you gotta have like Vegeta, Gold Tanks, or Gold Ten. Oh yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Son Gohan <laughs> potential unlocked. Unique blocker. If your leader card is green and you have a green unison with a specific cost of two in play, you can play this from your hand without paying its cost. Got a free okay. blocker. You love them free blockers, man. <laughs> I remember you used to always play them. Uh, Vegeta the Lone Prince. One energy super combo. Permanent is this card can't be played with skills from any area. Okay. Auto is if this if your leader is green and you have four or less when this card is used for a combo, draw one card. Second auto is if your leader card is mono green. When this card is played, your opponent chooses one card in their hand and discards it. Ah, I see like most of the super combos now. Have an extra they, ability, yeah. Yeah, they actually want you to actually play it on the mm -hmm. battle area instead of keeping it in your hand. Yeah. Has, like, like, I would, more de I would definitely now. use that. Because oh. that's like, that's wild actually. I like that one. Yeah, because if you have a mono green leader, sure. Play this card, your opponent discards one. Easy, you know, one drop, one cost, discard a card. Yeah, and then you swing and then combo with it and you plus one. Exactly. The only thing is it costs one energy, but that's still not bad at all. Yeah. I mess with it. Ultimate Piccolo, uh, Ultimate Power Piccolo. I'm reading words before I even say them. I don't know what the heck? I do that a lot, man. It's probably if you leave a card is green, sleep. son. <laughs> <laughs> if your leader is a Sun Goku, a green Sun Goku, when this card is played, you get to choose one. You either want to draw one or get 10k power for the initial turn. I, th I might go for the draw. Yeah, depending, depending on the situation. situation yeah. That's actually that's, that's nice. Not bad. Alright, Krillin, potential to unlock. One energy permanent is during your opponent's turn if your leader is a green Sun Goku card. And your life is at four or less. Increase the energy cost of this card in all areas by three. Mm. Oh, oh, that that reminds me of the the old Goku leader thing. I, uh, when this card is played, choose one. Look up to the top five cards of your deck. Add one green unison with an energy specific energy cost of two among them, and add it to your hand. Shuffle your deck. This card gains blocker until the end well this card game's blocker until the start of your next turn yeah so I think th what this is trying to do is bring it up to a four cost blocker from the f uh, what's that clash of fates face of Six. yeah clash of fates and uh, you bring out that Goku that, that's like a five drop or something because Krillin would die if he's a four or less or something like four or more yeah yeah I never really play with the green one but yeah, I guess we gotta start messing with all these decks because they bring something. stuff back. We got both of life on Namek. She helped me here hiding in a cave. <laughs> when this card is played, look at the top five cards from the top of your deck. Add one green unison with a specific cost of two or green sane with an energy cost of three or less among them and to your hand and then shuffle your deck. A little searcher. Not bad. Here's that Not Frieza bad. that came oh. in the starter deck. Oh, Frieza Cosmic Horror. Yeah. Four energy, two green energy. Play a dual attack. Auto is when this card is played, choose one. Choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards and KO it. No energy requirement. That's dope. And then next one is choose up to one of your opponent's unison cards and remove a marker. I like that one. Yeah, so here with this card, uh, when you play this, you can just pop a battle card. And if you have surprise attack Frieza, you can play that too. Oh yeah, that's true. So you're gonna get two targets for the a couple of these next cards. We have Frieza Terrifying Transformation. When this card is removed from battle area by a skill, draw opponent skill, draw two cards. <laughs> and Ryan in the la the battle video that we did, yeah, he was trying to pop his own pop this card right here and then draw two. Oh uh, yeah, he called <laughs> me the king of reaching. <laughs> and then I'm like, cause like, he made me discard a card with 
with his unison card and then he popped this mother and I'm like what are you trying to do dude like you can't draw two it was like a whole thing we kept going back and forth I'm like bro what are you doing <laughs> it literally says opponent skill right? yeah but <laughs> in the video he just kept going back and forth like it was like a legit two minutes of like what are you, what are you doing dude <laughs> he got frustrated uh, and then yeah. uh, active main one green choose one green freezer with an energy cost of four in your hand or drop you get to play it on top of this card in active mode to get you another attack for free. Mm -hmm. So you, you could I throw like that it. surprise attack freezer. You could throw this cosmic horror on there. Uh, I don't think there's any more other four drop freezes. So I think there's one more somewhere. But uh, uh, we got a vanilla freezer. Yeah. Then we got the five drop freezer. This is super rare. Freezer charismatic villain. Five energy uh, counterplay. You can't activate the counterplay skills of other cards for the duration of the turn. Play this card from your hand. That's it. I don't like send nobody back. All right. Permanent when you have a green unison with two or more markers in play, you can activate this card's counter skill from your hand without paying its cost. When this card is played, choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards with the energy cost of seven or less and KO it. Ah, right, there it is. Yeah, so it's a counter play. It's a little hefty one. Oh, actually, it's free. It's free, but it just like stops you from playing any more counter play stuff. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you could do you could do counter attack, counter counter. Yeah. but you can't just do counter plays anymore. We're getting into yeah, the Ginyu. Keep them crusher balls away. Yeah. Ginyu, backbone of the force. Of course, he's the main, you know, he's the main guy. Let's see, active main. If you have at least one Raccoon, Jeez, Birder, and Goldo in play, play this card from your hand. And then you can't play copies of this for the, re the re remainder of the turn. So you might as well just say unique, you know. My, no, well, uh, for the turn, so you can play the next turn. Yeah, that's true. When this card is played, choose one of your opponent's battle cards, gain control of it. If you gain control of a card, uh, if you gain control of a card, give control of this card to your opponent. Oh, that's wild. Uh, oh, it's like that red Ginyu swap that was, you know. Yeah, but the red Ginyu is actually better because you could attack with 25 before you swap with him. Yeah. I guess you want to take his take a Goku from your your opponent's field or something. Some, and it, it just so says choose one. So it's just like, okay, it can't get around barrier, but still like... Yeah, but it doesn't have an energy restriction so no, you can literally take anybody. Yeah. So if they have an ultimate, that's I'm swiping that's scary. it because when it gets played. <laughs> that is sick, actually. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Man, the right. body snatcher. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> what? No, the next card giving you the body snatcher. Man, laugh is hilarious though. <laughs> <laughs> they got a pimp laugh. Oh, snap. All right. Give you the body snatcher for energy, two green energy to play it. Double strike permanent is this card gets negative 10,000 during your opponent's turn. That sounds super corny. Active main, choose one battle card you gain control of from your opponent with a with one of your card skills and place it in your owner's drop. Play this card from your hand. Oh, okay. If your leader is Green Ginyu Forest card, when this card is played, oh, excuse me. When this card is played, choose all Ginyu Forest cards in your battle area and they gain 10,000. Spam out those Ginyu Forces and get this card out. Oh, that means he gets ten thousand too. So when he when you first play him, yeah, he gets thirty k double strike. That's not bad. Let's see what these game force do. Yeah. See, the Goku goes against all these little mo little monsters right here. <laughs> Says taking all these damn attacks. I'll crit two life and wipe your whole board. Yeah, if you spam them all out, I want isn't isn't there like a a red freezer extra card? That brings out all these other uh, 
Ginyu's from the red one? Nah, that's the yellow Ginyu. When you play a Ginyu Force, you play... Mm. I think, yeah, when you play... I thought that was a red Gin from Clash of Fates. I thought that was a red stuff, too, that they get to spam out a bunch of Ginyu. Nah, the Ginyu spam out their own Ginyu, but they all yeah. gotta be red. Oh. Uh, so and Raccoon you can't play red Ginyu without... If there's another different color on the field. Mm. Okay. Raccoon, the muscle head. Unique, if your leader card is Ginyu, Force. Uh, when this card is played, choose one green new forest with an energy cost of two in your hand and play it. So uh, this, this, this is gonna bounce out. spam and other stuff. So you got Jeece. Uh, Juicy. Juicy, Jeece. Second in command. When this card attacks, look at top, top three cards from your deck. Add one green new force among them to your hand. Then place the remaining cards on the top or bottom of your deck in any order. Okay, okay. And we got Birder, fastest in the universe, unique blocker. Auto is at the end of your turn, switch this card to active, then look up to the top three cards from the top of your deck and place them at the top or bottom of your deck in any order. So he don't get anything, he just literally just looks at it so you can arrange your next play. Yeah. I like how it says fastest in the universe. He ain't missed. He ain't meet this boy yet. Who? You talking about? Oh, you talking about Despo? Yeah, he, Despo? he gotta meet this boy. This boy. Nah, he dead. <laughs> <laughs> so he got Goldo. What is it? Psychos. What? Yeah, psych Psycho Psychic. Psycho Psychic. I can't read, man. Unique. It's all good, man. Eight man. hours, remember. Eight if hours. If your leader card is a Gimme Forest <laughs> card and you discard this from your hand, you get to look at the top three cards from your deck, place them on top or bottom in any order. Uh, active main once per turn, look at the top five cards from the top of your deck, place them. Again. Damn. You're shuffling six, seven, eight cards, top of deck. So you can look top at the top the three day. when you play this. Oh no, when you discard it, you look at the yeah, top three. Yeah, when you discard it. And then the other one is, if you play it, I guess, because you get to choose. Yeah, act me. Yeah, look up top I, five. I guess you got to set up your plays. Yeah, because you want, I guess, that's, that's a lot of fucking gimmicks. Yes, sir. All right. Dodora? I can never say this one. Dodora, whatever. Dodora. Um, brimming with power. Uh, one energy... Freeze me. Uh, counterplay. <laughs> if your leader is mono green and you have a green unison card in play, if the battle card being played has the energy cost of two or less, it is placed in the drop area instead of being played. Then play this card. Alright. Go counterplay. Counter counters. Got some counters. That's not, that's not too bad. Yeah, so they got the Doria, the cold blooded. I think this came in the starter deck. Yeah, mm -hmm. include it in the starter deck. Add one card from your life to your hand. When this card attacks, it gains 10k power and double strike for the turn. Bring it back to double strikes. Double strike, double strike. So I got Zarbon, victory over beauty. Uh, counter attack, negate the attack, play this card. When this card is played during your opponent's turn, choose one of your opponent's battle cards, KO it. Then choose up to one card in your opponent's hand, discard it. It's a hefty one. It's a three, three cost. Card, yeah, you know? ain't, ain't no getting around that one. Yeah, and it's like yeah. other kind of plays are two or less, and fifteen k or less to cut to get rid of this. Nah, this one is actually pretty cool though, because once again, there's no energy restriction on who you can kill or yeah. power. So you play it, kill any card without barrier, and get the drop a card from your opponent's hand mm -hmm. all right Zarbon the gorgeous two energy super combo if your leader is green and your life is four or less when you come with this card draw one that is super boring <laughs> oh here's another four drop that comes in this set all right cool Frieza dark infestation infestation yep uh, he's a freezer clan freezer army he's a Xeno freezer okay so yeah. Could do some things with that extra card, but uh, if your opponent has three or more energy, 
When this card is removed from battle area by skill or KO, add up to one green extra card with energy cost of one or less from your drop to your hand. Place this card to the owner's drop and then choose one card your opponent's hand to discard it. Hey, extra cards better be dope if you're gonna be doing shit like you this. You can sacrifice some cards and all that stuff just to discard your opponent's hand. Uh, I might be with it, you know? Like, hand control might be it too, you know? Oh, hand, hand control is always powerful. Mm -hmm. It's just super annoying when you ain't have no cards in your hand. I've been there. <laughs> I've been there multiple times. Alright, uh, I have another four drop. Oh, I think this comes in the starter deck, right? Yeah. Uh, Frieza the Power Monger. Uh, I can't wait to make this deck. Wow, we got a battle coming up, so can't wait to actually play this deck. Uh, deflect unique auto is if your if your opponent if your opponent has three or more energy when this card is that the same shit no it's not the same shit when this card is removed from the battle area by a skill or KO'd so if you do it or your opponent you still get the effect mm -hmm. add one green extra card with the energy cost of one or less from your drop area to your hand active battle is use three energy. This card gains 15 power and double strike. 30k double battle. strike. It's not bad. Not bad at all. I thought this card came out <laughs> like a while ago. Because this artwork looks like the one from the Wish cards. Which one? One of the Wish cards that has Krillin on it. Oh, I think that was yellow, wasn't it? Oh, uh, it yellow, might have been green. Yellow, green. I thought it was. I was like, what? Isn't this an old card? Man, but, it's fine if they recycle artwork, man, because oh, they cool. over here recreating new Scenes characters out of yeah. nowhere. <laughs> Dormant, Potential Unleash. Uh, it's a counterattack if your leader is a mono green. You get to choose any number of your opponent's battle cards that add up to a total cost of two or less KO them. Additionally, you may choose one green card in your hand discarded. If you do, your opponent can only attack once more this turn. In a permanent, if you have a green unison in play, you can activate this card's counter without paying its energy cost. So it's free counter attack. Mm. Damn. Okay. I don't know why this may... I, all I'm thinking about right now is I want some ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what, And that's a super rare... For that, what? Yeah, right? That's what I'm saying. You just, this SR is for what? It's not really... Uh, I guess you could KO t tokens. Oh, oh yeah, you can get rid of all tokens if you do this. I think. Uh, I don't know. I don't really like because tokens don't have an energy cost. I want to see this card get played. <laughs> super rare. Oh man, we got blue impulse. If you leave a card is green and you have a green unit in play, reduces energy cost in your hand by one. And then active main. If your opponent played a battle card this turn, choose all your opponent's battle cards and KO it. What? <laughs> How is this a common? Oh my goodness. Man, they got shit backwards. Yeah, right? If your leader is green and you have a green unison in play, it reduces energy cost of it. Like, what's happening? Alright, whatever. I don't know. Obviously, they know what they're doing. Because. Mm -hmm. In this set, I don't think there's any barrier cards. Yeah, I don't. I don't no think cards. I, I don't think I've seen any. Yeah, no cards have barrier in this set. So they're fading away. Uh, it's good because barrier was annoying, and then, man, it's whatever. <laughs> All right, uh, dark death ball, two energy counterplay. If you have a green unison card in play, if the battle card being played is has four energy or less, it is played in the owner's drop. Instead of being played, then choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards with an energy cost of one and KO it. Permanent. If all your energy is mono green, you can activate this card without paying its energy cost by choosing two other cards in your hand and discarding them. Yeah, I might just trade it two energy. Mm hmm. You might? Dropping two cards from my hand? Yeah. And you gotta be a mono green? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know. It's whatever you want. 
Unless you, you get rid of two cards, cards with this card, so it's not bad. So we got the last card for green in this set. One star ball. It came in the starter deck. Uh, this card gains dark dragon ball in all areas. I was going to try and use this with the Bomo. Little, cause I was thinking of a, a combo, but yeah, this is dark dragon ball and it's not dragon ball. Yeah. So I was like, ah, oh, that's a nice fine. reach there. Yeah. That's a nice I, reach. I was going to reach, but you know. <laughs> Active battle. Choose one of your cards. It gains 5k for the power uh, for the battle. Or you can do the active main. Choose one freezer with energy cost of 4 in your battle. Place this under it. Then you get to play uh, one green freezer Xeno from your deck or hand on top of this chosen card in active mode. Then shuffle your deck if you look through it. So I, it, this freezer Xeno freezer is what is it like the what was that five drop that was a big one four drop which one? Oh, they're all four yeah they're all four but this one's zeno so if your opponent has three or more energy this card remove a battle every year add one extra card oh so you have to use a freezer you need a base freezer and then yeah you need, then you could put the zeno freezer over it but uh, right, right. let me see here. We have some promos. Let's see if I can oh, get yeah, it. Oh yeah, that's here. the last card. Man, let me see. Let me breeze through this one. Uh, uh let's see here. Can I bring oh. up the extra cards of the promo? Pull this up. Let me see. Uh, I'm ready when you are. I am not ready. I lost them. Oh, here we go. And you should be good. Yeah, go ahead. Call me that. Alright, uh, Swift Massacre Freezer for energy. Need at least three green energy to play it. Deflect. Auto ability is when this card is played from your hand, choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards, ignoring barrier, and KO it. So that's tough. I like that one. But you have to play it from your hand. Permanent. If you have five or more green battle cards in your drop area, reduce the energy cost of this card in your hand by one. So that's not bad. Mm -hmm. It's a promo. Yeah, it's gonna be hard to get these. Yeah, about to get me a tournament back. <laughs> uh, so we got Ginyu, Captain of the Elite. Uh, counter attack, negate the attack, play this card. During your opponent's turn, if you have a green unison in play, reduce this cost by two in your hand. So there's a one drop counter attack negate. Uh, when this card is played, add up to one green freezer army card with 9k power or less from your drop to your hand. If you did, choose one card in your hand and discard it. Okay, I guess. Alright, Zarbon, Cosmic Elite, two energy. Blocker, active main, one green energy, choose one green card in your hand and discard it. Play this card from your drop area. No. Oh, that's cool. I guess. I will bring back the success successor. Successor. <laughs> uh, if your opponent has four, five or more cards in their hand, when this card is removed from the battle area by a skill or KO'd, your opponent chooses one card from their hand and discards it. Bro. Now this, this one. This is nuts yeah. right now. This one I like. It's crazy. That's this is, dope. <laughs> this is insane. Like all these, they, they all link into each other. Yeah. But like, you could, it's not once per turn. You could discard nah. a card, play this from your drop. And for one energy. And then you could pop them. Because it's yep. not by your opponent's skill or anything. You could choose to do it. And you, yeah, your and opponent gets to lose from the battle area. Yeah, so then your opponent got to drop a card. Well, you can only do it until they have five cards. Right. Well, four cards in their hand. Yeah. Because if they have five, you could drop them to four and then you're done. I might as well do it until you have four. <laughs> That's true. Because what else, what else after bad. that? They're going to keep the negates, they're going to keep their super combos. You know? And then you you over here, you successor, bring out the ultimate mm -hmm. cell. 
<laughs> Take off three cards from their hand, they only got one card left. Right, and then go for gauge. Go for a quadruple strike. Yeah. Alright, next one. the last one right here, the Doria, the Boastful. Yeah. It's a big boy. That's me right there, uh, I'm a big boy. <laughs> <laughs> That's Actors, a spirit man. animal right there. Once per turn, this card gets 11k for the power, 11k power for the duration of the turn. Uh, if your leader card is Green Freezer, when this card is KO'd, add up to one unison card with a specific cost 2 from your drop back to your hand. So it cycles and gets the unison cards. Maybe. Yeah, I like all these cards, to be honest, man. Yeah, it's going to be like fun. I can't wait to actually start playing because I got ideas. Yeah. I'm over here remaking decks right now. I need to build more decks. That's what I got. There. I got the the one, the two decks that I got. Still, I haven't I haven't built anything. Yeah, you like playing with one deck for a whole entire set. <laughs> That's my problem. <laughs> like one deck for a whole set, and you perfect that one deck. I'm like, yeah, I'll, I'll make it like seven, and they all be trash. <laughs> uh, I think that well, is it. That is it, right? That's all we got. Uh, yeah, see. only four new cards. Yeah. Other than that, yep. we got yellow for tomorrow. Yeah. They're going to reveal some yellow uh, promos tomorrow as well. And uh, maybe we'll get Ryan on this one tomorrow. Maybe. See how uh, that goes. See how that goes. Got to get uh, Aaron. No, we we got to get this battle done. Yeah. And then we got to do some battles. Oh man, we got we got we got to put in that work, boy. Man, we got a lot of work coming. We got a lot of stuff coming up. Yeah. A lot of entertaining things. Mm -hmm. I think I, I think they're gonna enjoy it. Yeah. Hopefully, you know, we got we got some dedicated fans. They come back even though we go disappear. And all yeah. That. I appreciate those dedicated fans. Yeah. <laughs> the one, the ones that wait for us to pop back up after six months. <laughs> it's, it's true. Crazy. It's true. But guys, uh, other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, comment, subscribe. Let us know what you think. What you're gonna do with these green cards? What you're gonna do? You're gonna choose Frieza, or you're gonna choose Goku, or maybe you might play a Ginyu. I don't know. Oh, and we got ideas for the next one. Well, for the battles, we we got we got a nice interesting twist coming up too. All right. Man, I, yeah, you know which one it is. <laughs> Don't spoil it just yet, but nah, nah. Yeah, we'll let them know though later. Yes, well, sir. I'll uh, probably drop it next week. Yeah, we gotta do some editing on that one. Yes, sir. But all right, guys, we'll see you guys on the next one. All right, later, fighters. <laughs>